Thermal insulation is a huge challenge to overcome in this modern day. As buildings get larger and more complex and houses are built with more intricate systems, developers and designers need new and better ways to protect their buildings. The larger the building, the more potential for a huge energy waste cost and lost heat and cooling. In addition to the civil side of things, machines such as laboratory equipment, cars, planes, ships, and rockets get more advanced and have the ability to do more, so too must they be more protected. One material that could do this job is aerogel. Aerogel is a super light porous material useful in insulation and laboratory materials and measurement devices. Aerogel can come in the form of many different compounds, but all are greater than 50% air, have open pores, great thermal insulation, and a large surface area to low weight ratio. Their unique ability to insulate large amount of heat from a large surface area make them excellent tools for insulation and heat shielding on sensitive instruments and buildings. The lightest aerogels, lightest being made of 99.98% air, are silica aerogel. Other aerogels include conducting carbon aerogels, transition metal aerogels, and polymer aerogels. Each different base material brings different properties to the aerogel. Aerogels have amazingly low densities, which in turn allow for larger surface areas and easier diffusion. Aerogels can come in the form of monoliths, powders, thin films, and composite blankets. Aerogel is also very brittle, and a small sharp pressure on the lightest of aerogels is enough to cleave the sample in two. They can carry up to 2,000 times their weight on average, but that's not always a large number according to aerogel.org. Silica aerogels in particular have a dendritic type microstructure, which is a common microstructure when solidifying a material slowly from a liquid, which is why they form in aerogels, as the solid and wet gel interact. The dendritic type microstructure is essentially a finger-like structure that is created when a part of a substance solidifies, while the rest is still liquid and creates fluid mountains and valleys. The mountains poke into the liquid, and the liquid pools in the valleys. The picture shown above is an example of this dendritic microstructure in aerogels. Aerogel starts off as a liquid gel. After being placed inside a chamber, the chamber is pressurized to close to the critical pressure. The critical pressure is the point where a material begins to act as both a liquid and a gas simultaneously. The heat is then increased, the goal being to force all the liquid into a supercritical state. A supercritical state is when a fluid has the properties of both a liquid and gas. This occurs at the critical pressure. According to airgel.com, the supercritical state is where the material possesses the density and thermal conductivity of a liquid and the behavior of a gas in that it expands to fill the volume of its container and can be compressed. This way, when the chamber is tapped into, all the liquid flows out as it is under considerable pressure and heat and has taken the shape of the container. This leaves behind the porous and air-fillable solid structure the liquid gel left behind. This image is of a pressurization chamber in which the material must be placed in order to process it into aerogel. It shows the limitations of the process, in that it is time-consuming, expensive, typically made in small batches, and requires specifically trained personnel. The advantages of aerogel. So aerogel has really, really good insulating properties that allow it to be much more energy efficient, and anything designed with it would be more energy efficient, reducing the amount of heat escaping. Um, they're also very good conductive insulators because the microstructure has so much space between each molecule that if the molecules were to vibrate by an, through an increase of temperature, they wouldn't hit each other as much, if at all. They are almost composed of entirely gas as well, which makes them uh, also very good convective insulators because the air can't circulate as well through the lattice structure. Uh, the insulation of heat leads to safer designs of industrial machines. Uh, making work environments safer. Uh, the aerogel's insulating properties can also be used to prevent uh, computers from overheating if they were lined with, lined with it. The fans would uh, prevent, keep it cool while the heat would be f couldn't trick it to all the parts that shouldn't overheat. Uh, aerogel's extremely low density means it weighs practically nothing since it's practically composed of all air. Um, this application can make uh, certain uh, things in industrial vehicles and machines much lighter, making them safer to use in case they were to fall or break. Um, currently, we could uh, aerogel could be used to line the sides of power plants so that they can be more energy efficient. It could also be used to line the outside of steam tunnels to make make sure they could be more safer in work environments as well. Uh, they are, aerogel is also not toxic, which makes it very safe to handle and use in work environments and around children. While aerogel has many advantages, it also has some very serious disadvantages. Uh, in its current state of development, aerogel is very brittle. 
which means that it can sustain, uh, while it can't sustain a large force on top of it, any sharp directed force uh, or sheer stress or would cause it to fracture and shatter very, very easily. Uh, so while it can support a brick, hitting it with a hammer would cause it to shatter or even just flicking it with enough force. Um, it's also very cost, it's, uh, cost expensive to make. Uh, the equipment is not cheap and very high tech, and it also takes a team of very highly specialized scientists to develop, which means that it can't be mass produced on a large scale with non special uh, with non-specialized workers. Uh, it also is hydrophilic, which means any contact with water would cause the oil to shrink, crack, and become more opaque. Uh, this could cause serious problems in any machine used, built with, or lined with aerogel. A new industry of insulating aerogel blankets have recently emerged due to aerogel's insulating capacity. Aston Aerogels has created an aerogel blanket that has up to four times the insulating value per inch compared to existing fiberglass, foam, and cellulose insulation in homes. The downside to these blankets is the expensive upfront cost. However, after a period of time they have shown that they can pay themselves off. Specifically, the Rhode Island Housing Authority used the Aspen Aerogel blankets to insulate five brick buildings with no current insulation. After five years, the organization has seen a noticeable payback in energy costs. The impact of aerogels as an insulating material in the construction of buildings will continue to rise as the research and improvement efforts for aerogels progress. NASA used the unique porosity of aerogels to collect stardust on a recent mission to Comet Wild 2. The comet's dust particles travel at an extremely high velocity, and thus collection can be very difficult when trying to avoid chemical or physical alteration. When these hypervelocity particles enter an aerogel, they slow down gradually, producing a conical hollow member composed of the intact dust particles. The particles maintain their original composition because of a lack of collisions between the dust particles and the aerogel's porous structure. As shown, the tennis racket collector was created by NASA to store and hold aerogels during the mission. The collector is unfolded and exposed to space so that the aerogels may collect dust particles as the capsule approaches the comet. Currently, research is being performed to evaluate the uses of aerogels porosity as a collector of fragile materials here on Earth. Aerogels can be manipulated in many different ways to enhance its specific properties. One such enhancement is called X aerogel. An X aerogel is made by attaching polymers to cross-linked silica particles in a solution that has been supercritically dried. The overall result is a polymer coating that acts as a reinforcing skin to increase flexibility, water resistance, impact resistance, and stiffness. The current disadvantages include a slight increase in thermal conductivity and opacity and an even larger increase in cost of manufacturability. As shown, the nonpolar polymer chains have replaced the once hydrophilic backbone of an aerogel composed of hydroxyl groups to create a hydrophobic silica X aerogel that resists the absorption of water. Although this is a relatively novel material, applications for X aerogel as a lightweight armor or aircraft component are being evaluated due to its flexibility and resistance to fracture due to impact. Aerogels are super light, super porous, and are composed of more than 50% air. They can be made from a variety of materials and are great insulators. Aerogels have a dendritic microstructure, which is caused by their formation through the use of supercritical fluid during the pressurized wet gel to aerogel solidification process. Although aerogels are currently expensive to make and brittle to use, future improvements could revolutionize machinery by making them lighter, safer, and more energy efficient. Aerogels have many applications that can and will be used in the future to improve many materials in today's society.